My particular branch is uh, pharmaceuticals. Um, we look at the drug substance, so we look to make the drug from basic building blocks and uh, ensure the quality of this drug substance is suitable for use in clinical trials. So we get the drug and we have to look for possible impurities in there. So we have a wide variety of uh, analytical techniques that we use, separation science, we look at spectroscopy to see for low levels of impurities, possible possibly things which could cause harm if they went into patients and we can analyse these down to really low levels, parts per billion in some cases. We're not doing the same analysis over and over again. Um, one day I might be uh, uh, releasing a drug from a, a pilot plant and they might have made like 200 kilos of uh, drug and the next day I might be helping a student project out and just, so days are quite different. The way I got into analytical chemistry, or chemistry as a whole, was i done chemistry, maths and physics at A-level. I've done chemistry at York and um, with a year in industry and I came here and really enjoyed the job, really seemed to fit into the sort of thing I want to do because I enjoyed the challenges and I enjoyed problem solving and it, it just stayed with it from there and I've been here about 10 years now. <music> Skills that you think you need for this job, I think you need to be pragmatic. Um, a lot of the things we do, if we're looking to make fast analysis, so if we're, say for example, in the plant and they want to know as quick as possible their reaction's completed, you want a method which is quick, so you need to really be able to pick what do I actually need to do here, and, that, and if you can do that, you've, you've won after the battle. Um, logical thought helps, making sure you make the right decisions. Um, and I think if you can do them two things, you wouldn't do a bad job at it. But if you want to get into this job, or I think most jobs in the chemistry sector, the year in industry I think can be one of the better ways to do it. It's, it, it can be like a year-long interview, you know, these guys, if you, if you enjoy the company you work for, these guys see you for a year, see what, see what you're doing, it's best to make the most of it. Working as an analyst, there's many different things you can, you can do, so you can, like AstraZeneca, you can go down management path, the scientific ladder. So what this means is you, you, you will hopefully your strength will be utilised, whatever that is. So if you're great working in project teams, you can work, go towards project management. If you prefer to be on your own and you prefer to just get stuck into your science, there's a scientific route which you can take. The thing I like about the job, I think it, it, it feels, uh, it's always, it's constant challenges and these are, it's, it's, um, it's sort of like puzzle solving. So if you've got to look for we might have an impurity which we're worried might be geotoxic or cause harm. We might have to look, look for this in a drug down to sometimes parts per billion. And that's a, that's a, that's a real challenge. So it's knowing, having the skill to find what that challenge is and to actually use the right instrumentation to try and find the right answer. And at the end of it, when you actually find out that you can actually do this, you can actually get the, the answers you need and what helps projects move forward, that, that's, a, that's a big thing.